My name is Edward Richthofen, and I have been trying so very hard to do the right thing. Right lads, let's talk about Richthofen returning in Cold War Zombies because, you know what, I can promise you it will happen. We have a load of information, hints, and teasers coming directly from Treyarch that is setting something up. And if you put it all together, you get a pretty clear picture of what they're doing. Well, I, I think anyways. After watching this video, I can guarantee you will have a much more clear understanding and you will be convinced, like me, that the face of zombies, the main character, character Richtofen is going nowhere. I want to start off by talking about a change happening in Cold War that everyone has already seen, but I think most people just kind of fail to understand the significant impact this has on the mode. As we know, the classic iconic teddy bear has been replaced by a rabbit, and trust me, just, just hang in here, this does have a link to Richtofen. Oddly enough, we have seen this pink and or blue rabbit quite a lot, specifically back in Black Ops 3 as a just one of Samantha's toys, which as we know the teddy bear is one of Samantha's toys, like the main one, and I think that entire idea is to signify how Samantha was a an innocent person, an innocent character, then became a demonic zombie controlling bitch. Alright, I'm already ranting and I have a lot to say, but to put it simply for you, I think Richtofen or his like soul, the kid soul version of him, Eddie, would basically be replacing Samantha in this new storyline, like how you know she became the demonic kid. Now, Richtofen, like, or a ver some different version of him will be taking that spot. So the demonic teddy bears and toys are, like, kind of signify that twisted, corrupted take on what was innocent. But now, in the Cold War Dark Aether storyline, we have seen that Samantha is all grown up and is playing a much different role in the storyline, which is why the teddy bear has changed, and I called this before we knew about that officially. And even if Richtofen or Eddie does not become the zombie controlling demonic kid, he will still show up in one way or another. And I know the voice actor Nolan North did say on TikTok of all places that he's not returning. And I know some people are gonna throw a fit over this, but I'll tell you right now, no matter in what way, shape or form Richtofen returns, he will have a new voice actor. He just will. That's kind of how these things go. Anyway, back to the point and even more evidence I do have to say. So you might be thinking, well, the rabbit, right? It's one of Samantha's toys. What does that have to mean for Richtofen? But, or Eddie. As we do see in the Origins ending cutscene, well, they are in the house, right? These are the innocent souls of the characters. The innocent souls of Samantha and Richtofen. They are playing with zombies-themed toys. So we do see that they play together and share toys in a way. Um, am I just clutching at straws here, or does it make sense? I think it makes sense. Oh yeah, and by the way, these kid souls are the exact same characters at the end of Targ to Totem that survive, you know, the end of the original storyline that walk into the light, and I said that like the first ever time I saw the cutscene. Um, you know, as a bit of a storyline nerd, I was like, yo, they are walking into the new storyline, into the new universe, because to put it really easily for everyone to understand, that's what happens at the end of Targ to Toten. All the multiverse and different dimensions and all of that collapses into one new or singular universe, and now that is what Cold War is. That one universe. So Samantha that we see in the phone box talking to Weaver is just a grown up version of her innocent soul, which means Eddie is out there somewhere too. All of the other characters and every version of them, you know, Takio, Dempsey, and Nikolai, all of them had to die to like destroy the uh, the multiverse and stuff, but somehow Richtofen found a way to secure the keys, you know, his grand scheme to make sure a piece of him, his soul would live on into this new universe, I guess. Now, there is a chance that he might get corrupted, like how Samantha started off as an innocent kid and then went into the Aether Pyramid, got corrupted by the Dark Aether, took control of the zombies, then her dad died. Damn lads, we're going back to 2008 storyline right now. But yeah, even if my theory on that is wrong, like I've just said, Eddie and Samantha both go into the new storyline, so there will be a new version of Richtofen 
some way, somehow. He might be a good guy, he might be a villain, I mean, he's already played both. He might be grown up or a kid, who knows. Anyway, fellas, that's all for today, I think, so stay spicy, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.